ready? Hello and welcome to Christ School Broadcast Network. I'm Henry Lytle, and today I'm joined by... I'm Marky Hanson. Yep, Frank had a swim practice tonight that we found about, about last minute, so Rocky's done a few games, is joining me alongside in the booth. And tonight you're here for the NCISAA 4A State Independent School State Playoff. This is, I believe, the second round, and it is Christ School versus Charlotte Country Day. Yeah, uh, this should be a good matchup. We'll be back in a moment for the national anthem. I forgot to go get starters. Oops. All right, and here back at, on CSBN after the national anthem. You know, both these teams actually met earlier this year. Christ School won by 10 points, 47-37. However, it was the second game of the year, so you can expect a lot of improvement from both teams. Yeah, absolutely. The rosters have adjusted. They found, what works, they found out what works for them, and uh, it should be a good one. Playoff atmosphere only adds to that as well. Yep, the Charlotte Country Day is going to start number three, Amari Bethel, number 13, Carter Alessi, number 23, A.J. Hewitt, number 24, Fletcher Bigham, and number two, Dallas Gardner. And Dallas Gardner, it says on Max Preps he's averaging 26 points a game. You know, sometimes schools don't publish every game but regardless we both know that he's averaging over 20 points a game and he's going to be the guy to watch tonight yeah absolutely um he's going to be uh, one of their main weapons and Christ school's going to have to defend him well to that's their key to success this game yeah but you know Christ school has struggled a little bit defending quick guards especially guards that can shoot and that have bigger size so absolutely Starting for the Greenies now, it's going to be Zach Myers, Bryson Coakley, Emmanuel Richards, Matthew Pethel, and Anthony Robinson. The guys that started last game in the lineup that they've been looking to later in the season. Yeah, you know, the Greenies, two guys on the All-State team, Anthony Robinson and also number Anthony Robinson, number 20, and also Emmanuel Richards, number four, coming on the floor right now. All-conference team. I think Dallas Gardner was also a part of their all-conference team for Charlotte Country Day. And you know, it's going to be a hard-fought battle, although it looks like Christ School has got a little bit of a size advantage. That is yet to be decided on the floor. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw uh, like about a week ago with the South Charlotte game, size is definitely not like a determining factor of winning the game. Like, it, yes, it matters, but sometimes teams are good enough and they're deceptive with their size. And also tonight, the theme in the student section is Jersey night. I'm surprised there wasn't a travel there. Yeah, it's like little, a slippery little bit spot of a on the floor. Here's Charlotte swinging around. It's Bigham. Back to Hewitt. There's Gardner. They've got Coakley on him to start out. Shoots three from the corner and joins it. Yeah, it's a big time shot from Carter Alessi, the junior point guard. See what the Greenies can set up now on offense. And this has been their this has been the deciding point in most of their games. Can they score? There's Bethel on the drive now. Oh. Blocked by Gardner. But that was Amari Bethel to block. Pulls up from the mid-range, no good. Uh, That's going to be off country day, back to the Greenies. And yeah, as I was saying, the Greenies are undefeated when they score over 60 points. I think it's 11 wins when they score over 60 points. Last time it was this defensive slugfest between these two, so we'll see what happens in this one. Now they're setting up a play. Screen and roll action. Richards now with the ball. Coakley on the drive. Knocked away. And it's going to stay on this side of the floor. A lot of swing action is what you see with this Greenies team around the perimeter. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, they, they really like plays with guys cutting back door, looking for open threes. And, and they're going to keep... The country days to keep Gardner on Richards. That's going to be the matchup to watch tonight. Ms. Myers now with the ball. Richards. Richards comes away with it. And it's couldn't get it. What a play by Country Day to get that ball back. That's three missed layups so far for the Greenies, and three missed shots. Yeah, tough break right there. Shoots the three pointer. Off the back run. Robinson's got it. Back to Myers. Greenies down a number there in transition. We're gonna set up a play now. Yeah, Coach Coley there, new coach this year, if you're just joining us. Press School Broadcast Network. He's brought in a few guys, and you know, the community's happy to have him here at Christ School. Here's Coakley on the drive. Drives. And what a play! Wow. He lost control of the ball midair, but he still threw it up and got it in. It's one of those lucky plays, you know, but Christ School fans are happy to take that. And oh. here's a steal by Myers. Oh. Should have been a foul on Gardner there. To swing it. Robinson slow to switch back, and good rebound by Pethel. Here's transition now. Oh, out on Gardner. Yeah, Gardner's got active hands on the defensive end. That's one thing. He seems to be everywhere. He's 6'3 to Richards, 6'4. Richards posts, or sorry, those Robinson posts up, gets his own rebound, going to the line. Couldn't get the finish. When the Greenies have been able to run, run their offense through center Anthony Robinson, they've had a lot of success. Yeah, just doing the post-up game. It's classic big man right there. And he's a he's an underrated passer. When he gets the ball, sometimes he gets tunnel vision, but a lot of the times he's able to find the open guys when the defense collapses on him. There are a few guys in. North Carolina that are much taller than him. Yeah. So they usually have to switch on and double. Yeah, Christ School does like to run the offense through him. They typically give him the ball like somewhere in the paint around the three-point line and see what happens. Robinson made one of two. It's going to bring a four to three game ball game. Lost control of the ball, but Gardner got it back. Drives. And he Here's Coakley. Drives. Foul. He almost got the basket there. Those long arms almost won the ball in. 
And one thing also, today is Bryson Coakley's birthday. So a birthday game for him tonight. Yeah. Playoff no, he's game excited. And birthday. Coakley makes the first free throw. That's going to tie up the basketball game. 4.38 left in the first here. And the Greenies finding a little bit of offense, especially in the transition. Off some turnovers from Country Day. That's been huge so far. Gardner bringing the ball up. Gardner trying to draw contact off Coakley. There's nothing there. But Country Day is able to get it. And back to Gardner. Lays it in. And Country Day is going to sub in Sam Turner, number five. Yeah, Turner's going to have a tough matchup defending Gardner. Can't expect that that's going to be easy. Yeah. There's, they actually switched Gardner to guard Matthew Pethel. I like his physicality, but here's Myers pulling up the shot. Rims out. Robinson gets the oh. board. Too strong. Back Pethel. to Pethel, Back to Pethel. <laughs> and it's good. Yeah. Third Matthew. chance opportunity there. Yeah, good job by Matthew Pethel. You know, he's a new guy this year, but he's found his role, and with injuries, he's had to step up. And he's played big minutes, you know, playing a lot of the actual school game. He's another shooter, you know, a big man that isn't afraid to shoot the open three. He's got a smooth stroke. Yeah, recently he's gotten a lot more playing time, especially with the loss due to injury of Jozon. So. Yep, Jozon was surprisingly shooting 41% from three. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. I think it was a travel that, call. And that was a 41%. It's a very good three-point percentage. One of our best three-point shooters, unfortunately, received a stress fracture, and that uh, sidelined him for the rest of the season. He's going to be out for the rest of this one, and also John o. Pierce, still recovering from that concussion. Yeah. He'll hopefully be back in the lineup on Saturday if the Greenies can win this one. But, you know, it's playoff time. You, you can't wait for these guys to come back. you got to play yeah. with the, the team you got. Good move Nine by Alessi. Wow. He puts it in. Very solid moves there. Yeah, he's a quick guard, you know. Use his positioning there to get on, inside on Myers. Richards. Richards attracted right. three there. Couldn't find Robinson there. Now the Greenies set up a play. Here's Richards working on Alessi. What a play. Oh. And the ball. Nice drive. Ball's going to roll off. Couldn't. Here's Gardner in transition. Oh. Offensive foul oh. on Gardner. And the student section is loving it. They're going to sub Gardner out. I think that's his second foul tonight. Yeah, you cannot afford any any foul trouble for Gardner. You can't let that hinder his playing later in the game. Yeah, he's their main guy. Robinson goes up strong. Bully ball from Robinson. Third point of the night. Gives the Greenies a 10-7 lead. Alessi, and it's a foul on Pethel on the help defense. Here, go, here comes ball Country Day. Bethel with the ball. It goes up. Strong. Too strong. Here's Richards fighting through two. Euro step and nice. lays it in. Great move. And they call a timeout. Country Day is forced to call a timeout. And, you know, it's been turnovers that are killing them. 
not great shot opportunities and good defense by Christ School. You know, that's leading the transition baskets. You got to figure something out. And without your, your guy Dallas Gardner in right now because of foul trouble, it's going to be tough. Yeah. You got to expect a change of pace in offense, I would think. We're back now on Christ School Broadcast Network. It is Charlotte Country Day's ball. And they got to try to find a way to score here, down five. Oh, box the pass, but he was able to get it back. Coakley there on the defense. Bethel now to Olesi. Trying to get some room here. Pulls up for three. Three, Alessi looks again. good. That's his second or third three. It's his second, yeah. He's he's not missed a three-pointer yet. Myers, good pass to Richards. Richards pulls up in the corner. Unfortunately, does not hit it. Here come the Buccaneers. Bethel drives in strong. A little too strong. Oh, goes up again and gets the foul. That's another foul on Pethel, it's his second. Now Amari Bethel to the line, he can tie up the game now. Two quick, two quick points, you know. Good defensive rebounding is gonna lead to, it's gonna lead to offense from the other team, for, for your team. And now Ty Bessis, the senior, is gonna come in. You know, Ty struggled shooting from three this year. Yeah. But one thing that you can rely on is, de is his defense. Yeah, That's why they've got him in. player on defense. And he knows, he knows this team well. He knows the offense. He knows how to, knows how to play in games like this. Richards for three. Unfortunately, good. It does not hit. It's his second miss for three. Swings the ball up. Pass to Turner, working on Bessis. Balls to Bethel. Now to Turner. Swings it out to the corner. Alessi again drains He has not missed one. a three. That's going to give a two-point lead now. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Yeah, the Greenies got to guard him a little more, or watch him at least. He's sneaking in the corners and getting open looks. Here's Coakley. Coakley pulls up with the mid-range jumper. I think that ball got tipped. Him. And that's a great rebound. By David Murphy. And the Greenies confused the shooter. Yeah. He threw up a prayer there. Student section. <laughs> the Greenies are going to have a chance to throw up a half court shot. 0.7 left in the first. Ball to Richards, and he's just going to let out the, the clock run out. End of the first quarter, 12-14. Charlotte Country Day has the lead. Yeah, you know, the, that, that timeout by Country Day seemed to make the difference. It kind of turned the tide. They knew that Alessi was getting open shots, so you go to him. Yeah, absolutely. With Gardner being on the bench, it seems to that they have uh, seemed to look to the perimeter a little more. Yep, and, you know, Christ School, they've got a, a chance to design some plays. A couple of you know, missed shots and Country Day's back in this thing. You know, the biggest thing that we've been talking about is converting on some of those open looks. So we'll see what they can do here in the second. Yep.
Welcome back to Christ School Broadcast Network. It's going to be Greeny's ball beginning this second quarter. Country Day leads 14-12. You know, good turnover, good uh, defensive rebounding and transition offense. And you're winning by two now after being in a, a, sh a little hole at the beginning of the first. Hopefully this little break, they've regathered themselves and uh, they're ready to get after it. Oh, Bethel with the active hands. Almost gets the steal. Oh. Another foul on the Greenies. An off-ball foul this time. Didn't really see what happened there, but appears there was some contact. Here's Country Day with the ball. Buccaneers still haven't subbed Gardner in. You can expect it, probably expect it to Alessi here coming off of getting the ball at the top. It's a long three, three. Richards has got the ball. One on three. What can he do? Oh, gets the ball knocked away. It's going to stay stays on the side of the floor. Stays with the Greenies. Come the Greenies now. Myers mid range, too strong. And another foul on the Greenies is Bessis. Yeah, the Greenies just, they're not getting shots to fall right now. Yeah. That's that's this deficit. You're getting open looks, open mid range, a few open shots by Richards, and when you can't hit those threes, it's not going to help you out. Pulls up for a long three. That was from the, the parking iron. lot. Short off the rim. A little bit of a heat check shot right there. I think so. Coakley spins. Not quite. Coach Cole is screaming for them to come back in transition. This is where Country Day has found success. Good pass inside. Oh, but strong. strong. That all be a almost got shoved to the ground. Oh. And Coakley's going to line for two now. Chance to tie up the game. Number 21, Spencer Mermans. He looks like a big football player out there. Yeah. Man, I do not want to go up him down against him down low. Yeah, he definitely looks like a football player. <laughs> Coakley made his first two free throws. Sinks the, sinks the first one. Greeny's bringing Pethel back in. Sinks the second one. Money from the free throw line so far for, for Coakley. And now it's a tie game. Bethel, good movement on Richards. Got a full head of steam and yeah. Country Day back with the lead. Got that downhill attack and he took it. Oh, uh, travel. The second travel on Christ School. Coach Coley said, catch the ball first and then move. Don't worry about doing too many things at once. Yep. That's the key. Now it's time for this, this defense. Show why they're the best defense in, in the conference. Pulls up from the corner. And sinks it. What a shot. Fletcher Bigham. Five point lead now. Here's Myers. 
Coakley bringing it back out. Richards, Richards drives, kicks to Myers. Myers. Rims out. Another missed three for, for the Greenies. Oh. Good hands by Robinson though. And it is still country day ball. Pulls up from three. A little too strong. And a foul on Spencer Merman's. And what was that? It's a turnover oh. by Christ School. And a foul. Matthew I wasn't Pethel. even paying attention. I yeah, I didn't expect it. A little bit of a blunder. <laughs> Greens have got to find some offense. It's been missed shots and lazy passing. It's hurting them right now. Yeah. Got to be more attentive. Got to stay in it. Be in the moment. He's here for the second one. He sinks it. Makes it a seven point lead. Here's Robinson now with the ball. Richards, Richards driving in the lane. Oh, oh, got a little bit of room, but couldn't finish. Bethel now with the ball in transition. Good pass. In the corner. Whoa, too strong. Merman's got the rebound and got the contact. He's going to the line. It's just kind of a desperation shot by Merman's. Yeah. One more foul and country days in the bonus. Second free throw is no good. Greeny's down eight. Your offense has got to come from somewhere. Yep. Coakley brings it out. Little Richards driving inside. Driving. Too strong again. He's just struggling to score right now. The Greenies yeah. leading scorer. Let's hope he can find his rhythm. Blocked away by Robinson. It hard. And Anthony throws it down. Bethel with the ball now at the top. Shoots the three off the front iron. Here's Coakley in transition. That. Richards pulls up for three. Man. Struggling to find his rhythm. Let's hope he can get it. Timeout, Coach Coley. I like the call. Three minutes left. He knows that Richards is not shooting well. Time to recuperate and uh, yeah, you got it. I, I would bit. give the ball to Coakley right now. Let him try yeah. to run the offense more through him. Run him on some screens and some cutting plays. Yeah. To keep himself in this one. At least, at least Richards is still willing to take the shots. I mean, like Kobe said, he'd rather go 0 for 30 than 0 for 6. Right. You know, you, shooter's got to shoot, and he's going to find his rhythm eventually. But you know, two airballed threes in this game so far, and I think he's 0-5 from three, so the Greenies are going to have to sure something up on offense. Yep.
Country Day's got the ball now. The Buccaneers have gotten open shots all night. And the Greens are switching to a zone now. Oh, got to the corner in time. Good pass out to the corner. Unless he misses it. And the foul. And there's a shove by Murphy there. Foul on number 22, Davin Murphy. And the Greenies are subbing Bruce White in. Oh. Stolen away by Car Country Day. And another easy point in a turnover for the Greenies, getting the ball in. This is the second turnover tonight. Yeah, noticing a trend of a lot of full court press. Blocking foul on number five, Sam Turner. Myers has wanted, wanted that call all game. And now he's going to the line. So this is where the Greenies have a chance. You know, they've been a pretty good free throw shooting team all night, or all, all season. So In the and now it's a one now. and one. Yeah, two and a half minutes left too. So you get the contact and you're going to the line. It's in. Still hits it. Second one's good as well. Second one. Yeah, six point lead. Greenies are going to press the inbounds a little bit. Greenies, you know, it's a travel there on Hewitt. I know the Greenies, it's a small ball lineup right now. They took Anthony Robinson out, I, I'd assume, to give him a rest. And also, I think they like Bruce White's defense a little bit better. Yeah. Baseline, oh, nice. Coakley, what a lay-in. Smooth finish. And a foul as well. Beautiful. That was a beautiful finger roll off the glass and in for Coakley. And a, number, a foul on number 22, Gavin Murphy again. The eighth foul now, and the, now the Greenies close it with one possession if Coakley makes this free throw. Oh, Coakley gets us on the And what a slam! Two-point game. Greeny fans saying, raise the roof. And it is getting loud. Minute 38 here in the second. Now this is some playoff energy here. It's the last home game of the season, regardless of what happens tonight. Bethel with the ball now. Struggling to find room. Oh, this has got Texas. a hand on it. Nice defense. A little too aggressive. Now one and one. You go into the line. Hewitt, no good on the free throw. And Bruce White gets the rebound. See Coach Coley calling a play. Bringing it up slowly up the court. Just taking time. Richards. They've looked to Coakley. I'd expect them to do that, to continue that. Oh, 
Good job by Myers covering that. Oh. And he gets a foul. foul. Another foul on Mermans. That was AJ Hewitt, I think, pretty sure. Or let's see. Oh, never mind. It was Spencer Mermans. Thought that was his third foul, but it's only his second. And now Myers has got two free throws. First one nice. goes in. Takes another one. I believe this is the second time visiting the stripe today. Yeah, but he's knocked the first three down. This one would tie the game with 41 seconds left. Ah, no good. And a lane violation on Country Day. It's going to be another free throw for Myers. And he misses again. Couldn't connect on the second chance. Oh, and they lost the ball. And a, a lazy pass by Bigham. The Greeny student section chanting fundamentals. Now Myers at the inbounds play. You expect it to go to Coakley eventually. He's been their go-to guy so far. There he is with the ball. Final 20 seconds of the game here, or of the half here. 15 now. Coakley drives. Nice And play. one! Oh, travel. He did take one too many steps there. Beautiful finish, but. Yeah, just gotta watch the steps. And now Country Day's got a chance to extend this lead. Five Bethel seconds now. Up. Bethel pulls up, misses it. And that is the end of the first half, 23-24. Very close game. Yeah, you know the Greenies jumped out to an early de deficit. Country Day led by two and extended that to I think eight, and the Greenies fought back. It's a one-point game going into halftime. Yeah, this has been a very tight match, very defensive, very back and forth, just as we expected. Just as we expected, indeed, from a playoff game. And, you know, usually Frank's here with a big halftime list, but for today, I just wanted to shout out the, the Christ School swim team went to States on Monday. They had a few guys finishing in the top of their in, in the top of their categories. Frank Howden actually was he finished I think second in 200 breaststroke and third in 200 IM. So good which job is in, to the swim team. Yes, good job to the swim team all around. I believe we placed seventh overall. Yes, in North Carolina. seventh overall. It was a great job by them improving on their strength uh, on their success from last year and you know placing well in the conference to make it there. So that's going to conclude the brief halftime show I have for us today. We'll see you at the beginning of the third quarter.
10 seconds. All right, Rocky, you ready? Hello and welcome back to Christ School Broadcast Network. Once again, if you're just joining us, I'm Henry Lytle. And I'm Rocky Hansen. And this is the 4A Independent School State Playoffs in North Carolina. Christ School is currently trailing Charlotte Country Day, losing 23-24. to It's been a tight ball game so far. You know, the momentum starts to swing one way and then transitions back the other way. And Yeah, really been a tug-of-war match. It really has, and you know, the Greenies, they, it's just been a little bit of a woeful shooting night. You know, the three-point shot has not fallen. I'm not sure they made a single three, but they found a little bit more success, you know, with some of those some of the cutters and the, the backdoor plays that they like to run on offense. Yeah. And getting those guys to cut toward the basket. Yeah, they were getting some momentum going through Coakley before the half ended. And let's hope that uh, Emmanuel Richards can find his rhythm this half. Here's Country Day now. To Lessie with the ball. He was hot from three earlier this, this one. Finally, Gardner's going to come back in. Their leading scorer pulls up and gets the shot. Richards with the ball now. To Myers. Coakley for three. Didn't get the shot, but... And contact with Robinson. Good block by Country Day. It's going to stay on this side of the floor. Oh. Gardner with uh, defensive hands there. Ball to Myers now. Richards to Myers. Doing the swing motion here. Coakley drives in. Soft touch gets the, gets the layup. Nice floater. Good lay in and oh. Pethel steals it away to Coakley. It's a three on two. Oh. He drives in. Myers with the ball. And a foul. Myers is going to the line. Foul on Gardner, I think. Coakley couldn't draw the contact, but his teammate did. First foul on Bethel, not on Gardner. That's huge for Country Day. Greenies can take the lead. First one's in. Myers has been shooting pretty well from the free throw line. He's only missed two out of six. Yeah, you know, he, he started off 100% and then he missed two, missed the last one, and then missed the lane violation yeah. extra shot. Two out of six or seven, I think. And that one falls as well. That's huge. This country day, Alessi trying to get the, the matchup on Richards. They're going to look, probably look towards Gardner. Bethel drives on Myers to Gardner for three. Going to get it to go. Bethel with the rebound. Couldn't get Robinson it to go comes up with it. Good work by Robinson, passing it out too. Richards on the drive. Oh. Richards jumped too high and that pass hit the backboard. Yeah. That's a problem I certainly wouldn't have on the floor. <laughs> Bethel with it. That's a Gardner. Good pass inside. That's a great job by Country Day. You find the yeah. open man. We take the lead back. Here's Richards. Drives Big in. play. Oh, nice. And the finish Up off the under. glass. It's hard to stop that band with a full head of steam. Had that little pump fake midair and laid it up smoothly. That was nice. It was. Here's Dallas Gardner.
For three now. Could Robinson with another rebound. And the foul on A.J. Hewitt. First foul on Hewitt. Myers drives oh, all the way in, it. finds Robinson. Good pass to Pethel. Well, Richards was open. Yeah, he, he, you know, when you draw four guys, yeah. there's going to be someone open. Oh, lost control of the ball there, but it worked out. Coakley working inside. It's Robinson with the rebound oh, and the foul. Nice. Anthony Robinson throws it down. Wow. Over Hewitt. That was awesome. Dunk of the night so far. Through the contact. It's good. Nice. Gardner drives. Wow. What a that, shot. That was a very nice layup. He hooked around under. Official warning on the coach now for Country Day. Oh. Oh, Mars. Slipped a little bit, but. Who's Richards? Gardner. Lessie guarding him closely. Oh, spins. Got some room. Passes to Coakley. Coakley spins. He's fouled. Drying the contact again. He loves the spin move. Yeah, it's Those long effective. arms leading the way towards the basket are hard to stop. Yeah, some of his best plays have been from the spin move. Big free throws. You can make this a two possession game if you make them. First one's in. Second free throw is good. That's a big, two possessions. Bethel to Gardner. The Greeny student second singing happy birthday to Bryson. <laughs> it seemed to work. Yep. And an offensive foul on Myers. Here comes Sam Turner with the ball. Gardner cross-court pass to Bethel. Sam Turner. Good passing the three. from the Buccaneers. That's hits a good it. shot. Sam Turner hits it. Oh, and Bethel actively in the passing lane and got the steal. What a play. Good finish from Bethel. Yeah. Coakley tried to go up for the block, but wasn't quite able to get it. Only a second foul. It's not a huge problem yet, but that's going to give the Buccaneers back the lead. Free throw is no good.
Here's Myers. Richards with Richards the ball now. Driving in. Wow. Oh, what a block. It was a nice move, but it got blocked. Oh, Bethel again with the steal. Gardner goes up for the lay in. Travel. And it's travel. Greenies get the ball back. Two, just under three minutes left. Surprised Myers didn't shoot that. Coakley. Pethel was not expecting that pass. Yeah. That's all right, though. It worked out. Timeout, Coach Coley. I like the call. Yep. You know, you didn't see anything in the first 30 seconds of that possession. That's going to mean you got a chance here to drop a play. We'll be back in a moment. We're back on Christ School Broadcast Network. If you've joined us all year, thank you for supporting. This is our final home game of the year. State playoff game. It's going to be Christ School Ball. They're trailing by one. Richards, you need to find someone. Robinson gets it. Here's Myers now. Richards. Here's, Col Here's Coakley. Richards for three. It's good. Sinks it. Nice shot. He could not make a shot Whoa. in the first half. Whoa. But a little too fast there. Turns it away now. Richards. One on one. In transition. Oh. Good play by Gardner. That's just a smart play. Yeah. Richards tried to lob it up to Rich to, to okay. Coakley, but Gardner's got the ball now. Gardner. Lucky roll. Ball. Got the four bounce on the rim. Oh, got it stolen. Couldn't get the lay in. They've got numbers now. Myers. Oh. Pass to Robinson. And another foul. It's getting a little chippy oh. there. Merman's getting excited. He's been, gotten, he's been fouling a lot. He has. He's been physical. Greenies inbounds play. Mm -hmm. Richards. Richards. Nice to the ball. Wow. Very nice play. It's hard to stop him moving downhill. Yeah. Oh, stolen nice by Richards steal. now. Nice Finishing at the in. other end. Emmanuel Richards, seven straight. Nice. He's starting to take this game. 
in the corner. Thirty-four seconds left here in the third. Oh, stolen by Myers nice. now. Stolen again. Oh, that was a great play by Gardner. Yeah, very, very nice defensive play. I think it wasn't Gardner with the foul, but. Myers went in for the slam. Yeah, good defensive effort, but. It was on Gardner. I think he got a little bit too physical trying yeah. to contest that one. Myers has, has a chance to extend this one out to six. First one's good. Nice. Five point lead now for the Greenies. And it's good. 20 points now for Christ School in the third quarter. Yes, very good. They, well, the halftime locker room talk seems to have helped. Yeah, they found ways to convert on turnovers, and that's been huge. Yeah. Not missing as many shots. Now the clock at 10 seconds. Alessi here, it's working on Myers. Robins. Robinson's got it. Oh. To scramble for it. it. And that's the end of the third. And the end of, as you said, Rocky, third quarter is over. The student section loving it. Yeah. A lot of energy right now, a lot of energy. We are set to begin the fourth quarter in a moment. You know, the Greenies lead 43 to 37. They just came out of halftime. I, I just think more energized and able to convert off those turnovers. Yeah, the fast break game has been a lot better. It has, and you know, a little bit of foul trouble by Gardner helped them out there in the in the first in the first half. Country A wasn't able to take the game over, but you know, if you miss three point opportunities and Country Day's down down six, but you know, this game could turn around quickly as we saw in the first quarter. Yep. Country Day is not a team you want to take for granted. Definitely not. And I mean, last game they played together against each other, it was a hard fought battle. And uh, yeah, that's what it's been so far. And especially in this playoff environment, it only makes it an even tougher battle. Win or go home. This playoff environment, a loss in your season is over. Start of the fourth quarter, the final quarter here on the home court. Greens have a Whoa. chance at a foul. Whoa. Yeah, that was, that was a physical foul. He got the hands in the face. First foul on Alessi, but seventh foul, and that's a one-on-one. -on -one. And that's crazy at the start of the fourth quarter, you're already in the bonus. Yeah, a lot of fouls committed by Country Day. And, you know, that's going to have some impact. Every time you foul, it's, it's free throw opportunities. More points. No oh, good. Just rolls out. You got a chance, though. Oh. Uh. Another turnover, miscommunication. Yeah. Country Day's in double digits on turnovers right now. Bethel drived in, but uh, Alessi didn't realize that. Now Myers has got the ball. Alessi's been all over him this tonight. There's Richards on Gardner. Coakley to Pethel to Richards. Coakley drives in, spin move. Nice and the play contact. Wow. What a play by Coakley. No foul there. And Bethel oh, fouled hard yeah, a little by. Too physical. Bethel fouled Bethel there.
Fourth foul on Matthew Pethel. I think the Greenies are just going to keep him in the game. You know, he's been playing a great game defensively and rebounding. And that's really what they've asked him to do tonight. Yeah. I don't expect them to sub him out unless he fouls out. Greenies fans applauding the assistant coaches, helping clean up the scuffle there on the floor. Bethel hits the first free throw. He's only missed one free throw tonight. The basket here brings the lead within two possessions. Or sorry, a free throw here. And Bethel hits the, misses the second one. Coach Coley calls the timeout. Or it's sorry, an official's timeout to wipe up the mess on the other side. More of an opportunity to recuperate. Indeed, and you know, seven point lead by the Greenies. In the latter half of the third and the, the beginning of the fourth, it's been about tenacious defense for Christ School and converting transition opportunities. Yep. You know, this team is in the beginning of the year, struggled to capitalize on transitions, and even in the beginning of this game. Yeah. But now it feels like every transition that Country Days has, the Greenies are going to get a good offensive possession, and they're in the bonus now, yep. too. So any fouls, free throw attempts. Yeah, you go up for the lay-in, and they're a little too physical on the contact, then you can get those free throws. Country Day trying oh. to trap. Full court pressure here. Myers beats four. That was a backcourt, wow. and they, they didn't call it. Yeah. Coakley finishes on the other end. Up to nine. Oh, Stole nice. Away. Very nice. Myers jumps oh. for it. Good hustle. Coach Coley did not like that call. Yeah. He's applauding the hustle by his guys. Bryson Coakley's been the guy tonight for Christ School. Absolutely. That spin move and roll into the basket. He almost looks like Zion Williamson out there. They can't stop him moving downhill. Some effort here by both sides to clean up the floor. like to see it. Greeny's applauding John O'Pierce, who's uh, still nursing that, uh, that injury. He's going to be hopefully be back on the floor this weekend if the Greenies win this one. But... You know, the, the injuries have just been a problem for him this year. And, yeah. You know, it's kind of taken them towards the end of the year to get things figured out on their lineups and who they like to go to. Absolutely. Who's Gardner with the ball? Gardner with the mid-range. Hits it. The refs are letting these guys play. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like to see it. There's been contact on both ends, no calls, and there have also been plays with calls, you know. Yeah. Oh, we'll poke. Oh. Coakley's got it now. Oh. That's a move. Coakley on Turner. Oh. And the oh, top of the yeah, glass. He Very is a nice. smooth finisher. Another official timeout to wipe up a play. And now the cleanup crew back on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nine-point lead for Christ School, and, you know, they've looked to Bryson Coakley in this one. Yep. And he is delivered. Really, the whole team has. They're firing on all cylinders right now. You love to see it. The only thing 
keeping the momentum from shifting heavily right now is some of these timeouts and stoppages, you know. Yeah. You don't want the game to get away from you. Country Day's still in it, only down nine with six minutes left. It seemed like a lot longer of a fourth quarter than that, but you know, it's only two minutes have ticked by. Garber drives. Blocked by Pethel. Coakley now driving in. Another tough lay-in. They can't stop him on offense. Here's Bethel Bell. Blocked oh, by Robinson. Blocked by Robinson. Wow. This is something. To Richards. Oh. No. Not quite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gardner got a little excited in there. Yeah. Will Fiskel started throwing the elbows around a little bit. It's getting physical out here. Yeah. Alessi out to the corner. It's a three country day needs. Oh, nice hustle. He saved the ball and Coakley got it. Very Coakley nice. nice. Time out by the Greenies. Yeah, you call a play here, set something up. Love little stoppages, but you know, Christ School. Rocky, this has been a chippy game. Oh, very chippy. I mean, there's been a, a lot of there's been a lot of foul. Well, there's been some. Well, honestly, like recently, more recently, in these couple quarters, um, the third and fourth, they've allowed some contact to pass. They're just kind of letting them play a little bit. But uh, as you just saw, um, Gardner was throwing the elbows around a little bit and. Things are starting to get a little heated. They are, and you know, I'm all in favor of letting the guys play. Yeah. You know, the thing is, every if Country Day fouls, Chrysler goes to the free throw line, so I think the refs are, you know, doing a good job letting these guys play. And, you know, there have been a couple of nights here that I feel like the refs have taken a little bit of momentum out of the game, so. Yeah. You know, it feels, it's it's refreshing as, as a fan of basketball to feel like, you know, both teams, it's getting chippy on both ends. Yeah. And the refs are only calling it to keep the game yeah. you know, under control. This game has been very exciting. Now Greeny's ball. Myers with the, pat, with the ball. Nice. Myers hits a first. Nice. Oh, Coakley gets the rebound now. That's a big play. He's been everywhere tonight. Greenies swinging the ball around. Oh, Richards. Oh, that was a Good nice crossover, move, but, but lost the keep, ball. Yeah. Oh, Sam Turner loses the ball. It's just been the turnovers for, for the Buccaneers. You know, that, that, that hurts you. That really hurts you. Yeah. Not only the plays where Christ School does make good defensive stops, but also the plays where they don't. Yeah. You know, that was just an open pass and they lost it. So Yep. All right, now Myers with the ball. Richards, here he goes. Nice drive. And the finish. Very through the lane. It's been the Greenies, two best scorers, Coakley and Richards. Finding success tonight. 
Bethel drives, couldn't get it to go. Oh, Rebounded boy. by Matthew Bethel. And he's going to the line now for two. Well, this lineup has played almost all of the game for Christ School now. Myers, number 14. Coakley, number three. Richards, four. Pethel, the free throw line, 23. Misses it. And. Oh. Coakley tipped it up. Yeah. It's going to be out of bounds. Stays here with Country Day. Nice active defensive play there. A couple of shots from Country Day, though, and you're back in this game. They just haven't had the success scoring here in the second. Fletcher Bigham from the corner sends it. That's a big shot. Timeout country day. Get your bearings straight. Yeah. You're down 11, but you know still, still 3:55 here in the fourth. Yep. back now. Sorry about the, the score problem there on the bottom of the bottom of the screen, but driving, blocking foul. I'm surprised they fouled there. Yeah. Well they're really trying to keep the pressure on to not let this gap get too big and they're being a little too physical and it's costing them. They're now at ten fouls. Yep, that means it's two free throws every time. Since the first one. Let me tell you, this student section is packed up here. Yeah. I can't see any bleacher. You know, I'm a little surprised. I think all the sports have gotten out by now. Everyone's here that is at school. Yep. For the last game of the season here at home. No good on the second one. Gardner. 12 point game. That's pushing the pace. Lost the ball. Yeah, Coakley touched it as it went out. It's the right call there. Trying to look to Gardner. Now they got to get it in somewhere. Fletcher Bigham. Bethel driving. Swinging it out around the Gardner. He's got a three. Sinks he it. sinks it. Another timeout. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Three thirty-four left here in the fourth. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties about no scoreboard here in the fourth. 
another foul on Bethel. The fouls. You know, these for Country Day, it's they're just getting too physical now and Myers you know, it's costing the stripe again. He's this, been to the line a bunch this game. He cut it within nine now, but then the fouls just they're catching up to you. First one's in. Nice. Fletcher Bigham back in. He's not the best defensive player for Country Day, but he hit that three earlier. And he's a big man that, that you know can shoot, and you need guys that are going to shoot right now as you're down 11. Yep. Carter Alessi oh, to Gardner. Hit him in the face. Bethel driving. Kicks it out to Bigham. Oh. Here's there was a foul. Foul Myers. So, I said on the PA that was uh, foul on Coakley, his third, but thought it was on Myers, but nevertheless, Bigham now to the line for two. He can cut this lead back within nine. Hits the first. You know, Rocky and I were talking before the game. It seems like Christ School's got the got Country Day a little bit outsized, but it hasn't seemed to matter. You know, this this Country Day team, they can shoot the basketball. Yep. And now Country Day goes small ball to try to get a steal. Got to get the ball across now. To Myers. To Pethel. Oh, turns it over. Oh, but off someone's it foot. They decided to get set up on defense instead. Well, no good on the three. And Myers collects it. Big rebound. Splits the double team. Oh, to Robinson. Oh, pass was a little too low. Robinson tried to keep it in play, but he couldn't. Gardner threw four. Drives. Yeah, that was a smart timeout. They needed to slow it down a bit and kind of recuperate. And yeah, Coach Coley knew his team, you know, after a, what was that, you know, six-point swing, it seems like. Yeah. They are only down, they were down 13 a minute ago, and now they're down seven, so. Greenies lead 57-50. You know, the last time these teams played, it was a, 47-37 victory for Christ School. A defensive slugfest, but you know, as Greeny fans know, when they score 60, they have not lost this year. Yeah, let's hope that trend continues. Richards has got the inbound to play now. It's going to be Pethel. Greenies lead by seven. Stolen away again by Country Day. Uh, and Pethel's out of the game. It's his fifth foul. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, he played a good game tonight. Coach Coley was very unhappy about that turnover. Yeah. It's just that, you know, the Greenies just couldn't break the the trapping by Country Day. Yeah. 
a couple of baskets. You, I mean, you just slow down the pace a little bit, and this game feels a little... You know, Country Day, they make these free throws, and it, it's a, it's only a two-possession game. That feels wild to say, as it was a five-possession game Yeah. just a minute ago. They've really reeled it back in, and the Greenies have not been super careful with the ball. These are big free throws for Bethel now. First one's in. No good on the second one. Koku's got it. To Richards. Greenies break the press this time. Oh. Gardner guarding Richards. To Myers now. Lays nice. it in. Very nice win. See the excitement now. Gardner with it. Uh, reaching there. Another foul on Myers. Going to the free throw line. That is Bethel. Fourth foul on Myers now. You can't afford to lose him. One fifty two left. This is the free throw. Myers gets the rebound. Coakley's got it. To 14, now Myers to Robinson. Back to Myers. Greeny's trying to take a little bit of time off the clock. Yeah. Time out to Coach Coley. That was the final timeout for Christ School now, so no more timeouts. Minute 35 left. I guess Coach Coley wanted to share things away and yeah. This is the one that matters. Get your team focused. Up eight with the ball. If they got this thing to 10 points. It's going to be hard for Country A to come back. Yeah. Eight points, it's only a three possession game with a minute 52 or minute 35 left. And, you know, that seems achievable, whereas a bigger lead is going to be harder. All right now, and Richards to inbound. Cross court oh. to Bessis, comes up with it. And a foul. Bessis is going to the free throw line. The senior's got a chance to make his mark offensively too. I'm surprised that Country Day has just continued to foul here. Yeah. The trapping is, you know, they've gotten a few possessions, but the fouling has just really killed them. Gets the bounce. Bestus gets the bounce off the back of the rim. Second was in. Nice. 10 point lead now. Country Day has got, you gotta, you gotta hit a three. He pulls up. Desperation shot, yeah. I don't like that from Gardner. He tried to draw a contact. He wasn't sure. gonna get a foul. Myers to Coakley. Oh, travel. That is a, 
That is a very interesting call on this side of the floor. Yeah. The okay. travel, I'm watching it back here up on the monitor. Didn't look like he moved his pivot foot, but nevertheless, back to country day. Yep. Here's Country Day. Bucks working. It's Alessi out to the corner. It's Turner for three. Nope. No Off good. The back arm. Myers bringing it out across. Triple court. team there. Coakley. Robinson and the slam. Nice little run, Grazer. Up to 12 for Robinson. 45 Alessi. left. Gardner pulls up. No good. Now Myers has got impatient. it to Richards. To Coakley, 31 seconds left. Coakley. Draws the foul. Greenies fans chanting warm up the bus. 12 point lead, 24 seconds left in the game. Now Country Day is probably going to sub in some of the guys that don't play as much. The Greeny student section loving it. Our cameras are shaking up here. Yep. 12 point lead, you know. Christ School, you got you to gotta give credit where credit is due. They've converted. Yeah. Breaking the press, hitting free throws. They really turned it around the second half, especially that third quarter. They really did. Country Day, it seemed like they could inch their way back, and then the fouls just hurt them. Coakley now to the free throw line. Off First one, no iron. good. He misses both, wow. Don't think it's gonna matter Unless too he... much though. Yeah. Air ball. Myers now to the free throw line again. I'm not it sure what he's calling this. Like delaying the inevitable here. Yeah, and I'm not sure what that timeout's for. You're going to get the ball back one more time. You know, I expect the uh, never giving up until the end, but that's just delaying the inevitable at this point. 12 point lead, 14 seconds left. I think this has been the longest game of the year. I can remember. This one's been an hour 40 minutes now, right I now. think there's been longer games, especially that one back in nor near the end of November against Gaston Christian. Oh, yeah, that, that one was. That was one of the most exciting games I've ever seen. That was. Went into overtime. Final score was like 73-75 or something like that. That was an exciting game. But, I mean, regulation, the timeouts are just. Yeah. Co Beach Coach has used all of his timeouts. And right now, Christ School leads by 12 with Myers at the free throw line. Off the front iron. You know, the Greenies, they've hit free throws, but to put a good team away, you got to make most of them. And I know that's something that yeah. they're going to wish Rims they had done out. better. Missing four straight now. Yeah. Just pulls up from three just to see if he can get something. But that's going to be it. Solid win here for the Greenies. They will be moving on to the next round. Gardner. And the clock expires. 
Darren Arden. Christ School Greenies come out with a big time victory at home. Yeah. Very nice win. Very hard, hard fought. And yeah, you know, both teams. Game. Yeah, both teams played well. The Country Day Buccaneers led at halftime, but they couldn't get it to to convert there at the end. And you know, you got to give credit to the Greenies. They're moving on to face Carmel Christian this yeah. weekend. I think on Saturday it's going to be an away game, and you can check Greeny Sports on Twitter and Instagram for updates. And you know, it's been a great year here at CSBN. Yeah. All these home games, getting students, getting the student section back in here. And the yeah. students storm the court. It's an Definitely exciting warranted. night here in Arden. Definitely warranted. This was a great game. Carmel Christian is the top seed in the state, so Greenies yeah. the eighth seed. They're going to have their work cut out for them. Then. They're going to be a tough team to beat. Well, we want to thank you once again for joining us here on Christ School Broadcast Network. It's been a great year. We look forward to broadcasting baseball and lacrosse this spring, as well as football and basketball in the future. And you know, It's been a great 2021-22 season. Couldn't have asked for better support. Yeah, thank you. Once again, I'm Henry Lytle. And I'm Rocky Hansen. This is CSBN, and we will see you in baseball and lacrosse season. Have a blessed night.